So we're gonna get started with this get ready with me and today's video is sponsored by love me hair they sent me over this wig it is a glueless 16 inch body wave wig so this is how it looks I plucked it a little bit I didn't want to overdo it because I didn't know what side part I want to do yet so yeah I did pluck it and bleach the knots and it did that pretty easily and this is the inside I did get some bleach on the inside so don't even mind that but this is what makes it glueless is the elastic band right here so yep this is gonna be my first time trying an actual glueless wig and I'm excited so you guys are gonna see me install this wig and yeah so we're gonna see how it turns out so let me put this on my head so for glueless um, I watched a couple videos and seen like you don't really have to do the ball cap method because you're not really gluing the lace down to your your head like that so it's not gonna be like like really seen your wig cap and I did try this like a couple days ago with another wig so it worked out pretty fine but yeah doing the ball cap method I do like doing it I recommend doing it when you have frontals because it just looks better but it's a lot of work sometimes and nobody be having time for that so yeah um today we're just going to start off with my regular wig cap like this and we're going to apply this on my head i'm going to i want to put some curls in it i might do a side part so we are going to do that and cut off the lace and everything so let's get into it so we're gonna oh and this wig comes with like i said the elastic band three clips on the inside and two like elastic um parts clips in the back so you could clip it but usually i just use the band it's easier so we're going to try this on let's see how it fits so you gotta put the band on first and then just bring the, the rest of the wig back Okay, it fits pretty good. It's a little bit space in the back, but overall fits pretty good. Yes, it looks so crazy right now because nothing is laid or anything like that. I want to do a side part, like I said. I might do it over here. So I'm trying to part that out and just get it together. And the spacing on this unit is pretty good. Like it comes, it's probably it's a little bit longer in the middle, which it always kind of is. But for this to be like a side part, it's pretty good on the side. So I'm not mad at that at all. <laughs> All I used for that was my Black Radiance powder in the shade Golden Cashew. It looks like this. You could get it from Target. I use that as a like base for my wigs. So not a base, um color for my wig caps. So yeah, let's put this back on. And I always have like not problems with frontals, but they're always like super big on my head. So that's why it's like hella extra space. Like I feel like my head is like, it fits good with wigs, but like the frontal part, you know baby, you have to cut off so much frontal to get it stuck to my head. Okay y'all, so all I did basically was just cut my ear tabs, so you know. It's not like that. It's not like my ear tabs are there. And I've just been trying to mold the part 
with the hot comb and I use my ow, <laughs> and I use my wax spray so just get it flat at the top and everywhere else so like I said the part is not oh it's not too bad actually well so the part is not that deep but it's honestly not that bad for side part because usually side parts on wigs are usually shorter shorting part of the space on the side this one's actually pretty good so yeah i've just been literally just been combing to get it everything flat and molded because right now we are about to cut the lace and it is a little still like i said my head is like it's bigger in the back it's small in the front so this side right here is a little big on me so i'm gonna have to Use my got to be glue. It's still glueless, but you know, it's not with glue. So I'm gonna just cut my lace. I'm not a professional wig person at all, so bear with me. And I'm gonna have to move my mirror a little closer. So you guys are probably gonna see my mirror just for right now because I need to see. Okay, y'all, so I got everything pretty much like lace wise and everything like glued down. So, next, I'm gonna do some baby hairs and style it. I should have plucked a little bit more in the front, it's kind of still thick, but hey, this is like my first glueless unit, so I'm still like I said, I'm not professional, so I'm still learning, okay? But yeah. I just should have plucked a little bit more in the front, so it's not thick. It's kind of thick at the hairline. But the good thing about plucking, though, is that you can always go back and pluck some more, you know. It's harder to do on your head, though, but whenever I take this off, I'll just pluck some more. So, it'll look a little bit more natural in the front. I'm gonna do some baby hairs and stuff so it'll look a little better. But yeah, for it to be glueless, it turned out pretty good. I don't really understand the term glueless because I mean yeah the elastic band, but you still wanna need some type of something to hold it down unless you have like a perfect size head that lace like sits on. You know, that's the only thing. Okay, y'all, so this video is going to be my chit chat get ready with me. I know you guys seen me last. I was installing the wig. But from that, since that day, I really have to take the wig off, bleach the knots again, and pluck it, and just do a whole lot. So, yeah, you guys won't be able to see any of that on camera because I was literally trying new techniques. If you didn't know, like, Eric and Tay had a master class. And I seen the video, I did not pay for it, but I seen the video on YouTube. So, yeah, so I tried all the techniques and look how bomb this came out. Like, this probably has to be one of my best wig installs, like, yet, like, seriously. So, I just did all his techniques on his hair. He shows you how to pluck, um, not how to bleach the knots, but how to do baby hairs and all that. So, I did all that on this wig and it came out great. So you guys are going to see a difference between before and now. That's why I'm letting you guys know because I, yeah, like I said, I'm being honest. I took the wig off, bleached the knots, replucked it, did the lace and everything. So yeah, it looks way better now. Um, I'm still learning baby hair, so I'm going to still, because I did these the other day. So I'm going to kind of fix them a little bit actually because they're still kind of long so and we we're gonna get into I'm gonna try and curl it I had it um I had it straightened but like I kind of just woke up so it's not as straight as it was yesterday but and I cut layers in it also so I did like it straightened but I wanted it curled so I'm gonna try and curl it 
but before we do that we're going to do the baby hairs which i was doing yesterday see like look at this this is like my best install yet period like, for real so i'm gonna cut some of these baby hairs i'm gonna just i like this is what i layer with so i like this a little better it's easier to cut in my opinion yeah yeah these baby hairs were just a little too long okay so yeah that is the baby hair and what eric and tay does i don't mind putting on one you know so i need to pay for it so i can't even do that <laughs> but he um he curls the baby hair so he curls the baby hair. Mine is a little short. He uses a real small, like, flat iron. So he curls the baby hair. This is too big. It kind of burnt me yesterday, so I'm scared. <laughs> he curls it to give it, because he said it's to train them. So I shouldn't have done it that way, but whatever. Okay, so where is my brush? And what he uses to lay them down is got to be glue. Because I, first of all, when I tried to do them, mousse did not work for me. Because it was making the lace come up. So mousse wasn't working. And gel, he said gel makes it too hard. So. Yeah, the got to be is perfect. Oh. Yeah, that's how I do my baby hair. And I'm still practicing. I'm still learning, guys. So, yeah. That's just how I'm going to start doing them. Eric Tay way and I used the got to be glue to glue this whole wig down well not glue it's supposed to be glueless but honestly I don't even understand that term because I just don't but yeah so I used the got to be glue to lay the wig down so I'm gonna definitely do an updated wig install routine though like I said, I was just trying that out for the first time, so I didn't want to really record it. And, you know, I'm, I don't really know what I'm doing myself. So, yeah. So, I'm going to flat iron this through because I'm going to curl it. So. It did look good flat iron, though. This hair is really good. It flat irons really good. It stays bone straight throughout the day. I had it on all day yesterday. Stay bone straight when I um, flat ironed it just like that with a comb and I mean with a flat iron and a comb doing the chase method. So this hair is really nice hair honestly dude. This is probably one of the best wigs I've gotten set but I haven't you know had a lot of full like lace wigs yet so but this is the best one I've had yet honestly so and I like the length I did cut it um I don't know if you guys can see. I did kind of cut it blunt cut right here. Just so they could all be even. Because this length is like, it's not short. But I really like this length. It looks natural. So, yeah, I like this wig. I really do. If I was wearing it straight, I would have got it like straighter. But this is how it looks from the side. So you guys can see in the length. Like I said, it straightens really good. So, I'm happy about that my eyebrows okay so i'm gonna use my curling iron i got this from target it's the infinity pro by conair so i'm gonna do this in section okay y'all so i finished curling the hair curling it i've been trying to curl it um one thing i don't think this hair holds a curl that well um, it does, like I said, like over here it's a little curly, but it just comes out to be wavy. I don't know if it's the way I'm curling it or how it's just, how it just is naturally. But yeah, I don't really think this hair holds a curl that well. And this is the texture straight, so. Yeah, um, anyways, I would say if you get straight hair, um, if you want curls, like actual like curl curls, I would say get body wave. Because body wave, you could straighten it. Body wave, you can curl it and it holds a curl. But straight hair really doesn't hold a curl anyway naturally. So, yeah, but I did put some, like, I tried to put curls in it. And it just came out to be, like, waves. So, it is pretty cute. I'm going to fix this section by, like, the end of the video, though. Because it's kind of bothering me. 
but yeah it's pretty cute and i like how it came out so it's been a minute since we chatted and i have a lot of new subscribers to my channel and i wanted to say thank you guys i was gonna make a, a thousand subscribers video but i just didn't get around to doing it so i just want to say thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and believing in me and just really liking my content it's been i've been on youtube now for two years this will be the third year in december but i'm just so happy to finally have reached my goal of a thousand subscribers and just continuing to grow because i do have more than a thousand subscribers now and i just want to say thank you guys and yeah so that's my little thank you like i said i didn't get to do my video but i still want to say thank you for you guys for supporting me so first we're going to get into skin prep and now i use it's called the ordinary you could get this at ulta i got this at ulta and it was less than 15 dollars, i believe or maybe 15 for this one and it's a moisturizer because in the winter time my face does get really dry so i put this all over my face this is like my moisturizer just use every day even if i don't wear makeup i just put this on every day and this really just brings back a lot of moisture into my face and I love it. So, my lace is lifting a little bit over here. But it's okay. Okay, and then I use the Ordinary. This is the Caffeine. This is the Caffeine Solution. And this is supposed to help get rid of like any under eye darkness or anything like that. So I use this under my under eyes every day. You're supposed to use it morning and night, twice a day, every day. So I do that every day, even if I don't wear makeup. And I do see a difference, honestly. Like, I haven't been wearing it like I should have been lately. But when I was doing it every day consistently, I did see a difference, so. And I really didn't get much sleep last night, honestly, so. Yep, and next I do, I use the All Nighter Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. I was using the milk. I do like the milk better because it just, I just like how it feels on my skin better than this one. Um, honestly, I can't really tell anything with this one. So, yeah, but I do like the milk um, Hydro Grip Primer the best. And it, I do see like keeping my makeup on. Wow. so i need to get some more of that because i ran out and i got that because i wanted to try it out but i like the hydro grip a little bit better okay so next i do my eyebrows and i have a new eyebrow update tutorial on my channel so you guys can check that out and i've still been doing the same routine since then i do want to get some more products for my brows but like i said i've been doing the same routine since then so we are going to skip over this part okay y'all so i'm back with my brows done um like i said i have an updated brow routine on my channel so if you want to go see it go check it out um i did my primer and everything so i've been using my nars foundation and stuff like that so i'm not going to make this a whole tutorial because i want to do an updated makeup tutorial soon because I want to get new products and stuff like that. Yeah, so for all my new subscribers, my name is Naela. <laughs> um, I am in school. I am studying. I wanted to kind of do this like a Q&A because like I said, I have a lot of new subscribers. So I just want you guys to get to know me. Um, so yeah, I am in school right now for electrical engineering. And I have been gone off my channel for like two weeks now and that's a long time for me it feels like a month but I know it's a long time for you guys too and I want to grow my channel so I need to be more consistent but like I said my major is electrical engineering so my major requires a lot of just time and on its own just for that so doing YouTube and working is a lot but I want to you know be successful in youtube so i have to be consistent so yeah so that's why i've been gone pretty much just focusing on school and just yeah pretty much focusing on school i've been trying to do this video for a while honestly 
and I just kind of been unmotivated and stuff like that so but yeah I feel motivated I feel I'm excited I'm happy and I'm going to get back to doing videos on my channel um if you guys have any video suggestions you guys want to see from me just let me know and I can do that also but yeah that's just why I've been gone for like two weeks I normally or I'm trying not to do that so so all my new subscribers yeah that's where I've been but yeah, like I said, I've been happy. I've been at peace lately, and I'm so glad. Like, the last, like, January, I just was not feeling the best. Not, like, depressed or anything. Just, I was just not feeling, like, motivated to do any videos. Like, once in a while, I'll get, like, stuck on, like, what kind of videos to do on my channel and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's kind of where I've been. Um... Yeah, so that's where I've been. Like I said, I am in school for electrical engineering. What else do you guys want to know? I am into fashion. I love doing fashion. I love doing hauls. My channel loves my hauls too because whenever I do hauls, it gets a lot of views and stuff. So I love doing hauls. Um, I do a lot of sit-down videos also. Um, I want to start vlogging a little bit more, but like I get kind of nervous vlogging out <laughs> just like walking around with my camera yeah no but i'm gonna start to get better i do go on vacation in a month so i will be vlogging that i'm trying to be way more interactive so definitely follow me on instagram i haven't been posting on home there either why but when i feel like my hair is not done i'm not you're not gonna see me on no social media if my hair is not done so that's why on Instagram, you probably don't see me. Usually I post myself on my stories, but I haven't been doing that lately because I have not been feeling cute. If I don't feel cute or my hair's not done or something like that, you're not gonna see me. That's just that on that. But yeah, so. Yep. Um, yeah, so that's what's been going on with me lately. Nothing really, honestly, but. Um, yeah, that's where I've been, so I know you guys probably like, where should you go? Why should you be uploading videos? That's why I've just been into school and trying to graduate. I'm trying to get out of there. <laughs> and yeah, so I just feel like everybody goes through that at some point in time, just like needing a break, needing to like find out like what they're passionate about or just just needing time to just themselves basically, you know, that's what I've had. That's what I've been doing. So, yeah, that's what's been going on with me. Um, I want you guys to leave me some video suggestions down below. I can have that for you guys. But yeah, I finished my. Ooh, see, that's why I don't like talking and and doing my makeup because I'll be forgetting steps. I need a cream contour, but I already put powder on, so that's gonna look a mess. So I'm gonna just do my powder. Um, a powder kind of contour, but yeah, I'm so excited for my trip next month. I'm definitely gonna have a lot of videos with that, just like hauls and stuff. Because I feel like everybody needs a trip or vacation, you know, once in a while. Because just being in the same area, doing the same routine over and over and over. Again, it's just tiring, like, it's just really tiring. So, yeah, but my friend's birthday is both my friend's birthday, Brandy and Natasha, if you guys see this. Those was my girls, but yeah, both of them, their birthdays passed, so I've been able to hang out with my friends. And that was nice, because... Child, when you get older, hang out with your friends, you gotta really like schedule it because you know, people work and stuff like that. So, luckily, we've been able to find time to go out together, so that's been nice. Um, what else? Um, my birthday, my boyfriend's birthday is coming up also, and I've been debating if I want to vlog. I'll see, but it's all up to him, he don't really like being on the camera that much. And I have some videos with him on my channel, but those were a long time ago, so 
we're gonna try and get him back on the channel pretty soon <laughs> but yeah so i don't know if i'll vlog that but i might because i'm gonna get cute because we're going out to eat somewhere nice so i might vlog it a little bit and he's been really pushing me to do these videos so that's been nice <laughs> He's like, you got where you wanted. You need to put out videos. I'm like, I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, like this painting a thousand really was very nice. I should have celebrated bigger, but because this is like a long time goal of mine. And it's like, you know, you're going to hit it one day, but it's just like, you never know when. So it's nice to feel this way. I'm just continuing to grow. And yeah. But I did get this new powder. I don't know if I showed you guys this. But this is the Laura Mercier. Um, the new powder. What, what color is this? Translucent Honey. I love it. I like it better than the Translucent. Because it has more of a color to it. So the Translucent is kind of just a little too light. But this is perfect for me. So yeah. Like I said, I do want to try all new makeup. So, um, what's next? I feel like I've been zooming through this. Like, I'm just used to doing my makeup quick. Um, I need some blush. I definitely need to get a new blush because this Milani brush is nice, but I just want a new blush. I just need new makeup. I haven't been like shopping, shopping. In a while i just really been chilling like for real like usually i be buying clothes that's how i do my hauls i buy clothes for my hauls i haven't been buying clothes like that so that's why you haven't seen a haul in a while but i'm planning on getting some new clothes like for my trip and just because the weather went crazy but it's about to get warm soon so i'm like i need some spring clothes so I am going to place an order today and I'll probably do a haul on that if I get I don't know if I'm getting a lot today though but yeah so mm -hmm. but Fashion Nova I know I've said I don't know if I said this on YouTube before but on Instagram I've said like oh I don't even get gold I don't even get close to Fashion Nova no more because they be cheap stuff like that. Well, I, like I said, I don't get full clothes and fashion over no more. So, but lately I've been on there and their stuff been looking cute. So, you guys might see a haul from them pretty soon. Like they've had some cute stuff, and I'm like a pretty little thing girl for real. But my latest haul was just from them, so I don't want to keep doing hauls from them. Fashion Nova's been looking cute. Her stuff been looking cute. And Shein is like accessory place for me. And I've said this before. I get my accessories from my accessories from there. Um accessories and bags, like accessories, swimsuits, I get from there too. That's why I like Shein for like stuff like that. Not really clothes wise. To be honest, maybe like dresses or something like that, but not clothes. So yeah, this is the makeup. Um, like I said, this is like my everyday natural. I don't wear makeup every day anymore, but cause you know we wear masks and stuff. So if I'm gonna work, I just do here and up, just so I don't even be wasting makeup. But yeah, this is like my everyday routine. I use the Morphe spray, love it. Let me get some more. Almost out, but that just makes it pop. It just refreshes the skin and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. but like I said, I'm gonna do a whole makeup video and I'll get new products so we can just go over it together, girl. So, I'm just do my eyebrows, put some gel, okay, and 
Y'all, I can't wait to get my lash extensions back because I'm getting them on my trip. I can't wait to get them back. Like, I love lash extensions. They are just expensive to keep up with every, like, three weeks, four weeks, depending on how long they last even. But I can't wait to get them back. Like, I've been having such a hard time putting on lash extensions. Like, I don't understand why. Like, I used to be able to, like, just put them on. But now I be struggling putting them on. I don't understand. I really don't. So I'm about to put them on off camera because I definitely can't do that on camera. Put them off on. I'll put them on on camera. I'll come back and I should be done my makeup. This wasn't really chatty like I wanted to be. I'm sorry. But then I'm going to show you guys the outfit and then we're going to have a little vloggy vlog at the end of when I went out with my friend Brandy for her birthday. We went out to eat at this, um... I forgot what it's called. It's in D.C. though. But it was like a brunch spot. Food was good. The music was could have been better. But the food was good. We had a good time though. Mimosas. Bottles of mimosas. So yeah, that's going to be at the end of the vlog. I did vlog a little bit. I mean the end of the video. So I'll come back in the video. And you guys will see the outfit I wore then. So y'all, so I'm back. I did my lashes. They're cute. These are my first time wearing them. Only thing about them is like this one has like a gap in between it. It came like that. I don't know why. But anyway, so we're gonna do finish off with my lips. I'm using the Morphe lip liner in the color sweet tea. And I use this to line my lips. And this is kind of similar to cork from Mac. I never had cork, but I seen it in person and it looks the same. Cork's a little more browner. Still a really pretty lip liner though. So I still might get it. This one's a little more nudish. And then I used the um, Huda Beauty Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crush. It's like a pink. And I love matte lipsticks. I don't really, really wear them like just matte plain on its own anymore. I usually put gloss over top. But even if I wear gloss, I like to put a matte lipstick underneath. Just helps it last longer and stuff like that. I do this a couple times and just keep lining it because the line helps your lips look like fuller and stuff. So I could leave it like that, but like I said, I like to put um. Yeah, gloss over top. It just adds, adds some touch to it. See, it just adds like a whole new level to it. Yep, so that's my lip. Oh my gosh, y'all, I really love this look. And this is what I, <laughs> and this is what I wore in the vlog. I didn't wear it with this button, but I didn't want to put on a bra. So, and then it, it like opens up. So what I suggest for that is wearing boob tape. But yes, yeah, so this is the look, the final look. Um, This hair is so bomb. I love how it came out. At first, like I showed y'all at first, it didn't look like this. But when I went over it again, it turned out bomb. And bleaching the knots really helped with this because I over bleached them. So I had to go in and like just touch up the roots with some um, dye and it just looks bomb. Like, <sighs> I really love this. So you guys will see the whole full 
Um, I'm gonna show you guys the whole full outfit after this. So I did get this jumpsuit from Fashion Nova and I got the heels that you guys are gonna see from Fashion Nova. Also, I love the jumpsuit. I probably will order this and it has like two other colors. This is supposed to be the brown one, but it's like taupe. It's not brown at all because I was trying with some brown heels, but it didn't look right because this is not brown. This is taupe. And the heels I got from, like I said, they're Fashion Nova. They're size nine. They fit good. They do, my feet do slide in them. So I wouldn't really suggest them for a long, like if you plan on walking a lot, I wouldn't suggest wearing them unless you put like a little pad in them so your feet won't slide. But other than that, I do like, yeah. So yeah, that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you to Love Me Hair for sending me this beautiful bomb wig. Like I said, you guys need to just get this wig, okay? I love the length and like I said, the hair is good. It's such great hair. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to know me a little bit better. It wasn't a lot of chit chatting like I wanted it to be, but I just want you guys to like know me since it's a lot of new people on my channel, like I said. And a lot of new videos are coming up. I'm excited. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at naela.xo. So y'all, this is the outfit. Like I said, this jumpsuit is from Fashion Nova. I love it. Like I said, it's supposed to be a brown color. It's not brown. It's taupe. This is how it looks from the back. It does make your booty look good from like the side. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the outfit. And these are the shoes I was talking about. I'm trying to get you guys to see. I didn't put it up in the angle like I do my vlogs because it would just be too much. So yeah, this is the heel I was talking about. It looks like the Bottega dupes. And the heel's not that high. I'll just show you guys. The heel's not that high. Like I said, this is me without the heel. Me with the heel. So it's not that bad. Um, I'm 5'7", so yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, I love these shoes. Like I said, you just have to wear something so that your feet aren't slipping in them. Or just don't put no lotion on your feet like at your toes part so you're not going to be slipping but yeah this is the outfit i wore that day and like i said you guys will see the brunch portion at the end but yeah i really like this outfit this was super cute very comfortable i had it unbuttoned like this but just like i said just wear some blue tape with it but yeah so this is the outfit really cute i love it simple simple easy and cute my favorite type of things so yeah that was the outfit so yeah thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye cheers yeah let's see so i got stripping grits Egg. What you get, Natasha? Oh, fresh toast. Brandy got crab fries. And blueberry pancakes. The birthday girl. Here we go. And we got our mimosa. This is pineapple, but I don't even like it for real. So I'm ready for the next one.